but uh, this is all new to me. But the concept of being in court, you're appearing in front of the people, but you're hiding behind masks, is for me something I don't understand why that's allowed. I understand it's part of the, the, the COVID, uh, you know, because of COVID. But when you're in court, you're appearing in front of the people. And to be able to hide behind masks for me is, is something that uh, the justice system needs to look at. Um, We're hoping to see them face to face. Yes. Yes. Not just me. There's another family. And, and the people of South Africa should be able to see their faces. Uh, I mean, that's my... So, I don't understand how the system works, and I hope there's some precedent that can enable the magistrate to compel them to take off their masks. Good day and welcome back to Life with Amandine. I hope you're all doing good. Thank you for tuning back again to another episode of Life with Amandine. And we will be discussing the AKA and Tips Meta Trial case. I've watched a recent episode of, of the trial case where AKA's father and he mentioned something as in why are the accusers being masked? Why are they um, hiding their faces? Why are they protecting them? They should have actually been left uh, open to the public so everybody can know about them. And that's actually something that touched me a lot because, um, with all due respect, I thought that's something usually um, anyone of that age would have known. So one thing that we need to keep in mind is the police can choose to mask the accused for so many reasons. The number one being to prevent the accused privacy and to prevent the identity of the accused being disclosed publicly to the crowd. This is particularly very important um, once the accused has not yet been, well in cases where the accused has not yet been found or proven guilty. Because remember, you are innocent until proven guilty. And number two is to prevent retaliation. In some cases, the accused may be at risk of being retaliated or harm from the public or from, from the crowd out there, especially in cases where the accused has a high profile or the crime is particularly heinous. Number three is preserving evidence. In some cases, the police can choose to mask the accused just so they can protect some um, important evidence that they happen to have. So the police would then decide to mask the accuser just so, they, so that they can prevent the, the important evidence that they've got in hand. That evidence could be tempered or it could intimidate the witnesses. So once they've got that very important evidence in hand, they know that or once they may think they've got important evidence um, with them, they might feel like it is best for them to actually mask the accused or anything could happen to accuse just to silence or to, um, or to prolong the case. So the fourth reason is following legal procedures. It is very important to mask the accused during the initial stages or during the investigation itself until they are formally charged for the crime. In many cases, um, the accused are innocent. And if their face has already been revealed, believe me, they can face any type of harassment, threats, or any other types of harm. Um, remember, we all have rights, okay? Um, the right is there and the law is there actually to protect our rights. So what we actually have to do is to always keep all of those in mind. Um, even if you're a serial killer, um, you're still going to stand some rights. So that's just what life is, I guess. Because I am going to actually make another video where I'm going to be discussing um, the differences between um, the police in South Africa and the police back home in my country, which is the GRC. Um, you know, especially when it comes to this Senzo Mahiwa case, guys, I'll make that video and look up. And I'm going to spill it out on how we handle cases like that. Trust me, that case could not have taken so long. 
10 years? Mm -mm, not in my country. Yeah. So that is another video for another day. So for now, it is very important to note that the decision to mask the accused is actually made by the police or the investigating um, authorities based on the based on different types of cases, I think. Yeah, I think it is based on different types of cases. Um, in some cases, they might allow actually the accused to, to you know, to unveil their faces and, you know, they, allow, they actually um, require them to not wear any mask, not hide their faces. So, or maybe the circumstances of the case as well. Do not forget to subscribe, click on the notification bell to not get miss any of our future updates. That's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like it, comment, and I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, peace out.